Hello friends subscribers, what do you know about gravity? Gravity is a form of wave, electromagnetic wave actually, that matter exerts on the universe that causes dark energy field effect or gravity. But when it comes to the gravifier thing, a lot of people, a lot of guys did their best to replicate Alexei's gravifier, for example, uh, Charles Crow 43, uh, who is actually Charlie C on YouTube, uh, Exotic Proportion and other channels. But None of these guys ever achieved even a little bit of Alexei's gravifier effect of levitation. But the reason simple. Suppose that I'm in a frame model, a real frame model, uh, just a little prototype. Uh, I made a little prototype for my own analysis and research. Uh, we actually know how hard it is uh, to achieve some of your own principles in science. We actually know it. Uh, people spend a lot of nights, a lot of days, a lot of time learning more about the science phenomenon. Then after finishing my models, I start selling them on Amazon, eBay, and other certain platforms. So how could you believe that the models I'm actually selling works 100% like the ones that I show you in my videos? So I kind of believe this is the way a uh, method Alicia Chikukov used to make a lot of money a lot of income from his gravifiers actually the ones he made that didn't work тарелки он предложил взамен винтов установить специальные мембраны тонкие металлические пластины которые приводятся в движение электромагнитами welcome back to my channel in this video we're gonna go over a few analyses about this gravifier how MHD principles was applied and a few clips that will prove you that this gravifier was actually real so this video is going to be a little bit longer and interesting. So stay focused and let's get started. When we talk about nature, we talk about conductivity. As well as we talk about the story of the greatest inventors, John Sear and John Chad, who also invented the frame models. John Robert Roy uh, once said that when the conductivity switches, the sig is proper by the surrounding air. So why did he say that? It means that the conductivity was the most important thing in the proportion of the seg. This is not a coincidence, because when you look back in the 1967, a man called James F. King Jr. got a patent uh, about the magnetohydrodynamic principles of his propulsion system. His principles were like this. If magnetic fields interact with electrically conductive fluids surrounding the craft, the upthrust force will appear in a desired dilation. This guy was not well known for his work uh, like Orsti Carr or John Sear, but his principles uh, were almost identical to Orsti Carr's principles and Alexei's principles. The aircraft's propulsion system depended on the conductivity of the air. Alexei Chekukov uploaded a video. Uh, that was the video about the gravifier uh, he uploaded four years ago. Uh, some of you guys liked it and others didn't. So, without wasting time, let's check this video. Uh, watch closely how he moves his hand in all sides of the prototype. Сейчас я подготовлюсь и начнем съемку. Хорошая погода, хорошее настроение, что еще нужно? Вот этом шикарном поле и начнем съемки. Ну ладно, приятного всем просмотра. A lot of you guys still don't believe this gravifier was real. After watching this video, make sure you leave me a comment. Was this gravifier a real one or just a plank? So let's get into it.
А теперь обратите внимание, сейчас когда он стабилизируется, он будет висеть неподвижно. И будет такое ощущение, что в землю поставлены штыри. Помните, как на прошлом видео, мне так долго упрекали, что ты на штыри поставил металлический проволок. Вот смотрите, она стоит практически неподвижно. Ощущение, что как будто да, действительно воткнуты штыри. Как видите, погода отличная, камера снимает 4К, но, к сожалению, нету зума. Куплю нормальную, и тогда будет еще лучше сделать вообще. Видите, стоит неподвижно, стабилизировано. Как будто на штырях. Но это не штыри. That was the first video. What do you think? If you're also enjoying this video, give it a like and click that share button to notify everyone who's interested. So, we're gonna go over a few nerds here. Take notes if possible. I uploaded a video a few months ago. I was talking about the toroidal wheels, how they bend gravitational waves around the gravifier to cancel gravity pull. So today we're gonna go a little far from that topic. We actually know how the gravifier is powered, positive on the upper disc and the negative on the lower disc. Our purpose is to make the surrounding air conductive so it can be affected by the magnetic field. Watch this. When you take a magnet and rub it fast on a, a copper or aluminium plate, you will directly feel the force that kind of feels like a, a repulsion force. I actually saw that in a video where a man throws a little new diamond magnet on a large copper plate and when he puts the video in a slow motion he experienced that the new diamond didn't land directly on the plate it rotated a little bit this also applies to the gravifier where the lower disc contains six magnets when the magnets rotate around the stationary disc i believe they produce a wave that directly affects the region which is actually powered this means the more we charge the legion, the higher the effect of gravitation. But if you didn't know about this effect, go check out the magnetohydrodynamic principles where magnetic fields affect the charged particles. You will also find out uh, more experiments and ideas about this uh, phenomenon. You can also replicate this gravifier effect using electromagnets instead of permanent magnets. You will get the proportion because you first cancelled gravity pull and your craft will move upward by interacting the electromagnetic waves with the charged legion, which will provide the upthrust force. So this was the video of the day. Was it interesting? Tell me in comments and click that subscribe button to be notified about the next video.